Jesus calls and he will give you multiple blessings. Let not your heart be troubled. Precious friend, let not your heart be troubled. You have come into the presence of the living God and you're ready for miracles. When we pray, the Lord answers. The Lord answers. The Lord answers. He is with us. If two of us agree and pray, he will listen and he will send answers from heaven. Yes, it is he who is listening, who is seeing your heart who knows your agony and he knows your faith also. You have come to listen to this program with so much of faith, believing. I'm going to pray with this man and God is going to send answers. He will honor you. Let not your heart be troubled. Please call the prayer tower right now. We have prayer intercessors waiting to receive your call and pray for you. The Lord will do miracles as you agree with the prayer intercessor and pray with that person. The Lord's answer will come. And also, my friend, we have a wonderful plan called the Family Blessing Plan. It's for the families to be enrolled in this plan. It is for those who would like to have a family who could enroll in this plan so that we would pray for those people in the prayer tower and the Lord will build their home. And as you give your offering through this plan to bless the families through the Jesus Calls TV ministry, prayer tower and public meetings and letters and so on, many, 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 many families receive blessings as we pray for them every day. Nearly 50,000 people touch our prayer tower every day through the different facets of the ministry for prayer. 50,000. So every day, as you support this ministry with your offering, you're blessing so many thousands of families and they receive miracles from the Lord and their lives change. So as you become a partner in this family blessing plan, God will bless you and turn you, a lonely person, into families. He'll build a family life for you. The scripture says, the Lord has remembered us. He will bless us. He will increase you and your children so he will increase his grace upon your children, transform them and make them his children and bless them and give them a future. And he'll also make you enjoy your children, their love and their blessing. Become a family blessing plan partner today and receive God's blessing. If you want to know more about Jesus Calls International, visit our website, Jesus Calls. Com. Click and browse through the various sections for children, youth, and women. You will find the daily promise verses, the messages of the dinner currents, ministry activities, upcoming events, and much more. Visit JesusCalls.com. Click and get into God's presence. Jesus knows our names. Jesus knows our identity. Jesus came to destroy the works of the devil. Here is Dr. Paul Denikrin presenting God's love through his message and prayer. Mark 9 verses 14, 27. Marcos 9 versos del 14 al 27. Here we see that Jesus saw the multitude and went to be amongst them. Aquí vemos que el Señor vio las multitudes y fue a estar con ellos. Even amongst this multitude of people, 
Jesus is walking tonight in the same way. Incluso en medio de esta multitud, él está caminando de la misma manera en este lugar. When he walked amongst the multitudes, the Bible says he was moved with compassion when he saw the people. Cuando él estaba en medio de la multitud caminando, la Biblia dice que él se movió por medio de compasión hacia ellos. In Matthew 9, verse 35 and 36. En Mateo 9, versículo 36 y 37. When Jesus saw the multitudes, he saw that they were like a sheep without a shepherd. Cuando él vio las multitudes, vio que eran como ovejas sin su pastor. Nobody to care for them. Nadie los cuidaba. Nobody to tell them which way to go. Nadie que pudiese decirle cómo caminar. Nobody to guide them into a future of joy. De guiarlos en un futuro de gozo. But Jesus saw them and he was moved with compassion. Pero Dios lo vio y él fue movido por compasión. No. He spoke words of grace to them. Habló palabras de gracia sobre ellos. He loved them. Los amó. As a father. Como padre, Jesus gave himself as a sacrifice for us to be cleansed. Sí Many years ago, Muchos años atrás, in a family, the first child was born. En una familia, el primer hijo nació. It was a boy. Era un niño. The father was so happy el papá estaba tan contento that he had a child after several years. Que tuvo un hijo después de tantos años. But suddenly, pero de repente, a sickness afflicted his brain. Una enfermedad afligió su cerebro. And the boy could not speak. Y el niño no pudo hablar. He was just lying on his back, looking up and staring. Estaba acostado y miraba a todos los lados, solo se quedaba viendo. The father said, y el padre dijo, Surely I will do everything possible to make my son speak. Yo puedo hacer todo lo que fuese posible para que mi hijo pudiese hablar. Gave him the best treatment. Darle los mejores tratamientos. More than everything he would be by his side all the time. Lo mejor es que él estaría al lado de todo el tiempo. And he would be telling him. Y él estaría diciéndole. Son. Hijo. Speak. Habla. Speak. Habla. Speak. Habla. My son, will you not call me daddy? Mi hijo no me puede llamar papi. Will you not call me daddy? No me puedes decir papi. My darling son, I want to hear your voice. Mi hijo, quiero que escucharte hablar. Every day he was crying. Y ese día él estaba llorando. Every day. Todos los días lloraba. Every moment. Cada momento. Waiting for the son to speak. Call Estoy him dad. Esperando por el niño para que hablara. One day. Un día. As they were in the hospital. Cuando estaba en el hospital. But he was all alone with his son. Estaban solitos los dos. He said. Y le dijo. Son, at least today call me dad. Al menos hoy llámame papi. He could not bear his sorrow. Él no podía ver la pena de su hijo, la tristeza. Suddenly a heart attack came to the father. De repente el papá estaba teniendo un ataque al corazón. Right before the eyes of the son. En y el mismo en medio de los ojos del del hijo. The father struggled. Y de repente and he fell on the floor. Cae sobre el piso. He fell unable to bear the agony. Cae no podía resistir el el dolor. Something happened to the son. Y algo pasó con su hijo. He's watching his father falling. Está viendo a su padre caer. He shouted. He grita. Daddy. Papi. Daddy. Papi. Daddy. Papi. His brain began to work. Su cerebro comienza a fusionar. Se levantó. But alas. Pero al final. The father was dead. Su padre falleció. The father was gone. Su padre ya se había ido. But the son came did. alive. Quedó vivo. That is the love of Jesus Christ. Ese es el amor de Jesús. He loves you. Te ama. Look at him on the cross. Míralo en la cruz. Look at him. Míralo. He received. Él recibió. And he took all the sins that you have. Todo los pecados nuestros. All the sickness. Toda nuestra enfermedad. He was wounded. Él fue whole body was full of wounds. Herido, estaba lleno de heridas. He was surrounded by revilings and shame. Él estaba rodeado de personas que se burlaban de él. No dress on his body. No, no tenía ropa en su cuerpo. And darkness surrounding him. Las tinieblas estaban alrededor de él. Making him lose the presence of God. 
haciéndole perder la presencia de Dios. He took every one of our agony upon him. Él tuvo, tomó cada una de nuestras agonías. He died. Él murió. He oh, died. Él murió to make us live. para que nosotros podamos vivir, para, para que nosotros podamos vivir. He has taken over our sin. Hoy Él también está tomando todos nuestros pecados, our sickness, nuestras enfermedades, our curses, nuestras maldiciones, la, 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 los trabajos del enemigo que nos ha traído todo este tiempo. La Biblia dice in Colossians 2, 14 and 15, en Colosenses 2, 15 y 16, Jesus oh. destroyed the works of the devil. Jesús destruyó el trabajo del enemigo. And he triumphed over him. Y triunfó sobre eso. On the cross. En la cruz. Through his suffering. Por medio de su sufrimiento. To make us live. Para que nosotros podamos vivir. And to be free from the powers of the devil. Y que podamos ser libres del poder del diablo. Then. Pero después. Defeated death. Él venció la muerte. Para de pensar. Y resucitó. Rose up from the dead. De la muerte. Jesus Christ is alive. Jesus Christ is alive. He 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 is alive. To make us live in this world. Para que nosotros podamos vivir en este mundo. Yes, today we believe. Ayer creímos. Father, Padre, you have taken all my sins. Padre, tú has tomado todos mis pecados. All my sickness. Todas mis enfermedades. All the curses of the devil. Todas las maldiciones del diablo. On your side. Sobre ti. You are alive. Tú estás vivo. You will help me. Tú me ayudarás. You will help me. Tú me ayudarás, Jesús. Jesus will come. Y Jesús vendrá. You have come to Jesus. Has venido a Jesús. Ready to help. Él está listo para ayudar. Ready to help you. Él está listo para ayudar. Jesus came to destroy the works of the devil. Jesús vino a destruir el trabajo del diablo. Whatever is that you see tonight in your life, you will never see them again from this moment. Los diablos que miras en tu vida esta noche no los volverás a ver. You will see only Jesus. Solo mirarás a Jesús. How many of you believe that? ¿Cuántos de ustedes creen eso? Will you raise your hands and shout hallelujah? Richard. Levantas conmigo y gritas aleluya. Rejoice. Yeah. Gózate. Joy. Rejoice. Gózate. Let me say this one true story. Déjame eh, eh, compartir una historia verdadera que pasó y luego oro contigo. There was a man called Nadrachan. Había un señor que se llamaba Narracha. He was a mason. Él era un albañil. Building houses. Construía casas. And he had a small plot which he bought through his savings. Él tenía un pequeño lote que había comprado por sus ahorros que él tenía. He wanted to build his house. Y quería construir su propia casa. Of course, the family never knew anything about Jesus. De hecho, la familia no conocía nada de Jesús. The moment they started building, cuando comenzaron a construir la casa, jealous people did witchcraft to that family. Gente celosa comenzaron a maldecirle y hacerle brujería. Man got a terrible heart disease. El hombre tuvo una terrible enfermedad en el corazón. He was thrown in the hospital. Lo llevaron al hospital. All the money that he had saved and wanted to use for his daughter's marriage and to build the house were being spent, spent, spent. On treatment. Todo el dinero que él tenía ahorrado, que quería usarlo para el matrimonio de su hija, para construir su casa, se gastó, se gastó, se gastó en el hospital. All the money was gone. Todo el dinero se fue. And they had to borrow. Y tuvieron que prestar. They got into debts. Y comenzaron a meterse en deudas. Debts rose up. Y comenzó y siguió la deuda. Finally, finalmente, he had a surgery. Le hicieron una cirugía. The doctor said. Y el doctor le dijo. Now the surgery is over. Ahora que la cirugía ya pasó, tú no puedes. But you can't go back to your mason's job. Regresar a tu trabajo y trabajar como albañil. You have to do only light work. Solo puedes hacer trabajo liviano. He came home full of debts. Él llegó a casa lleno de deudas. He made his two daughters discontinue their study. Las dos hijas de ellos ya no pudieron continuar estudiando. There was no money to eat. No había dinero para comer. No money to pay the rent. No había dinero para pagar el alquiler de la casa. The wife said, "I will go and work in some house as a maid." La esposa dijo, "Trabajaré como sirviente en algunas casas." She went to work in a house. Él fue a trabajar en una casa. And was heartbroken. Y él estaba destrozado. He never knew anything about God. Él no sabía nada acerca de Dios. He began to drink. Comenzó a tomar a beber. Drink. A beber alcohol. Became an alcoholic. Y llegó a ser un alcohólico. That's increased. Y, y incrementó. When somebody came and told the wife where she was working. 
cuando alguien llegó y le dijo al, a la esposa donde él estaba trabajando Why should your life be miserable? ¿Por qué tu vida tiene que ser miserable? Ask Jesus, he will help you. Tú tienes a Jesús que te puede ayudar. And she sent him to the Jesus Calls prayer tower. Entonces ella lo envió a él a, a la torre de Jesus Calls. And she came there and they told her about the love of Jesus. Y llegaron y le dijeron acerca del amor de Jesús. Prayed for her. Oraron por ella. And she said, I want to do something for Jesus. Y ella dijo, yo quiero hacer algo para Jesús. You know, she had 500 rupees, the salary that she had received. 500 rupees que ella tenía el salario de lo que había ganado. She gave away that 500 rupee note totally for the ministry to join in the family blessing plan. Ella dio todo ese dinero para poder dar en el plan de las familias aquí. But she carried Jesus home. Y llevó en la esperanza de Jesús. Next morning they switched on the television to watch the Jesus Calls program. El, la siguiente mañana vieron en el canal de televisión de Jesus Calls. I was lamenting before the TV, thinking about my miserable life. Satan brought in wicked ideas of stealing, cheating, to become rich. That very moment you called out my name. By the power of the Holy Spirit. Por el poder del Espíritu Santo. I pointed to the camera and I said, there is a man called Nadarajan who is watching this program. Apunté a la cámara y dije, hay un hombre que se llama Nadarajan que está viendo este programa. Nadarajan, he was shocked. Y estaba asustado. The Holy Spirit made me say through the program. Y el Espíritu Santo me dijo por medio del programa. Nadarajan. Nadarajan. You are an alcoholic. Tú eres un alcohólico. But Jesus loves you. Pero Jesús te ama. He will deliver you today. Y te lo va a decir hoy. Nadarajan. Ando no le has sido de qué la. Ando no le caram con mi vida. Rango de qué. Cavale para adrenalina. Please. In the narrow tile. Ungay. But then along with that, Pero con eso también, he will give you a new profession. Te dará una nueva profesión. He'll build your home. Él construirá tu casa. Come to Jesus. Ven a casa, Jesús. Manishar Kangalil Tahivaitar. Vendia Panataitar. Budu Velaitar. Nadraja. You specified that I would start a new business mm. from that very day. The family was shocked. La familia estaba asustada. The husband was shocked. El esposo no sabía qué hacer. Tears were rolling down my cheek and I humbly prayed to the Lord to deliver me from my troubles. The power of the Holy Spirit and God's love came upon me. El poder del Espíritu Santo y el amor de Dios cayó sobre él. They gave their lives to Jesus Ar totally. Él dio su vida a Jesús totalmente. And God started working. Y el Señor comenzó a trabajar en él. Amazingly, God gave him a new profession. Increíblemente, el Señor le dio una nueva profesión. All of a sudden, one day, a friend of mine inquired of me to sell his land, whereas I had no experience in such transactions. With the good of Ah, but he compelled me to accept it, promising me a charge for it. His friend gave his rupees 10,000 as promised. We gave one tenth of it as an offering to the Lord. God graciously started blessing us. And today, we are blessed beyond measure. Today, God has blessed us. Hoy el Señor le ha his daughter is married. Hey. He has his own house. Restauró su matrimonio. He drives in a car. Tiene su propia casa. Tiene un carro. More than that. Más que eso. Family has Jesus with them. La familia tiene a Jesús con ellos. Every devil was cast away. Todos los demonios se fueron. Every witchcraft was broken. Toda la brujería se fue quebrantada. God walks in their home. El Señor camina en su casa. Tonight he is ready to do it for you. Y él está listo para hacerlo por ti también. You tell him, Lord, I'm trying to believe. Tú le dices al Señor, Señor, yo quiero creer. I have no strength. No tengo fuerza. Forgive me. Perdóname. Give me the grace to leave my alcohol. Dame la gracia de librarme del alcohol. Give me the grace to leave my lying. Dame la gracia de dejar mi vida. 
Give me the grace to leave my fighting and anger. Dame la gracia para dejar mi enojo. Give me the grace to leave my prayerlessness. Dame la gracia para no cesar de orar. Give me the grace to leave my brave. Déjame la gracia para dejar de sobornar. Give me the grace to leave the lust for money. Déjame la gracia para dejar de de buscar lujuria en el dinero. Help me, Jesus. Señor Jesús. Help me, Jesus. Ayúdame, Jesús. You cry. Tú clama. You cry. Clama. You believe. Y cree. Your so. family will have the miracle. Y tu familia tendrá el milagro. Your son will bring joy to you. Y tu hijo traerá gozo a ti. Your daughter Sarah. will bring joy to you. Tu hija traerá el gozo. Yes. Family members will bring joy to you. Tu miembro familiares traerán gozo. Let's pray to Jesus tonight. Oremos a Jesús esta noche. I don't want the devil. Yo no quiero al diablo. I want Jesus. Yo quiero a Jesús. I want Jesus. Yo quiero a Jesús. Devils okay. that you see tonight in your life, you will never see them again from y this moment. Los diablos que miras en tu vida esta noche no lo volverás a ver. You will see only Jesus. Solo mirarás a Jesús. How many of you believe that? ¿Cuántos de ustedes creen eso? Will you raise your hands and shout hallelujah? Levantas conmigo y gritas aleluya. Rejoice. Gózate. Rejoice. Gózate. My precious friend, this is our God. A miracle working God, a promise keeping God, and He's willing to bless you in a supernatural way. Maybe you're crying about your children, saying, Should I be in this situation all my life without seeing the blessed days of my child? He will intervene today. He has the power. Come, let's surrender our children into His hands. And God will bless your children to have hundred times return when they sow. And that will bring you great joy. Genesis 26, 12 and 13. Today, let's pray together. Father, as father and mother, as they humble themselves before you, Lord, and ask you to cleanse them with your blood, giving them grace not to commit the mistakes or the sins, or indulge in the weaknesses anymore. Answer their prayers, listen to their cry, and transform them. Transform them for the sake of their children, for their children to be protected, for their children to be transformed, for their children to become prosperous. See their humble spirit, Lord. See their humility, and transform them. By your mighty power, let them be transformed. And let the parents be transformed into the image of Jesus. Let that image be given to the children. By the power of the Holy Spirit. Lord, as they have transformed themselves and asked you to give them grace to transform themselves, you take over. Their children are your children, Lord. Their hearts are broken concerning their children. But today, remember, Lord, how you grew in wisdom, you grew in stature, and you grew in the grace in the eyes of God, you grew in the grace in the eyes of man. Let those four blessings come into their children in the name of Jesus, by the power of the Holy Spirit. Father, touch their children. Embrace them. And Holy Spirit, enter into their children, whether they ask or not, enter into them, transform them, and give them a beautiful future. Let your Holy Spirit give them a new life. Let them understand your love, Lord. Understand your love. And let their hearts turn towards you. If their heart is hard, melt it with love. Melt it with love. If they are depressed, deliver them and strengthen them with love. And if they are rebellious. Let them enjoy your love supernaturally and enable them to trust you totally and have a successful, blessed future. Thank you, Lord, for doing this miracle, miracle, for blessing every kid, every child who has joined this prayer and for whom prayers are offered even though they are not here. Lord, let your Holy Spirit take over. You bless your children. Teach them, guide them, give them a new heart, prosper them, 
and elevate the children let your holy spirit perfect everything for them from today let them see their children blessed 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 let there be joy in their home rejoicing in their family and oneness and peace in their lives thank you for doing it lord thank you eternal god i pray for all the children who are sick lord please heal their child heal their son heal their daughter by the power of the holy spirit let every son every daughter be healed in jesus name let their relationships be healed let their understanding about themselves be perfect according to the image of christ in jesus name and let these children have the wisdom of god and tremendous openings for them to prosper for them to prosper for them to prosper let their kids be blessed by the power of the holy spirit let not the devil ever touch these kids i command these evil powers to leave them let the strength from the holy spirit come upon these kids lord holy spirit take over their children take over their children and bless the young partners all the young partners who have enrolled themselves in the jesus cause ministry bless those children dear yeah. young people honor them honor them honor them let them rise to the national and the international level and be leaders in society as joseph and daniels bless them as esthers bless them as deborahs by the power of the holy spirit raise them lord and fulfill your will in the nations through them thank you for doing it lord thank you for thy blessing we give you all the glory let there be peace in every home in every family in jesus name amen god bless you my friend may his peace abide in your home Jesus Calls Ministry has a deep burden for the brokenhearted and is always praying for God's wonderful work in bringing smiles back to all people. If you would like to partner with us in this great commission, please support us through your prayers and contributions every month. We will send you this book as a token of our gratitude. Seven Sayings of the Savior. This book written by the late Dr. D.G.S. Dinokrin, is all about God's love manifested to mankind through the cross. He shares the very purpose of the sacrifice made by our Lord and how He loved us by going to the cross. We can in turn impart this love and make our lives a blessing to others. This special offer is available by request by mail, online, or you can call 1-855-537-8722. Please send your donations to Jesus Calls International, P.O. Box 565888, Dallas, Texas 75356. Or visit us online at JesusCalls.com. Watch Jesus Calls with Dr. Paul Dinekuren the same time next week. Until then, may the Lord be with you.